you play cello with the Kalahari Bushmen. You, you learn about them like in your times when you were at Harvard in Cambridge, uh, almost 20 years before. So you are like me. Once you get an idea, you make sure that that happens. So when you did that was trying to bring different people together, trying to, to bring issues forward. Uh, you, uh, I think you, you created what was called the Silk Road Ensemble. And you will go to different communities precisely around the world, like to visit the Kalahari Bushmen. And what's a way for you precisely to bring, um, you know, uh, awareness to issues, awareness to people that were forgotten, and in the process, bringing people together. Tell me, tell us a little bit about, about what was these, the Silk Road Assemble, what, what you were trying really to achieve. Well, Silk Road, which is what it is called today, uh, is, I, is, and I, it, it, the, the simple idea is about uh, going from a historical place where you say pasta started in Spain. Uh, I'm <laughs> saying that pasta probably started everywhere and or it didn't matter where it started but in fact whether it's pasta or dumplings or the lute or the oud or different instruments or the guitar to the sitar to the tar to the dutar or to you know all the instruments that we have today are descendants of of older instruments that came from different places. This is the same thing with food, with spices, with materials, with metals, with ideas, with religions, <laughs> you know, you name it. Uh, it's You dig deep enough into any one place in the world, you actually find the world. You know, there are many poets who have said that, Rumi said that, and we know that. And so today we're looking at, at the present sort of at a one flat line in politics, in economics, in sort of saying, this is a country, this is what, but actually if you go deep in time, you have many, many different worlds and acknowledging that is acknowledging the dignity of every individual, any place in the world, because whether they're rich today or not, at different times, they were actually part of many different things. I think that's because we have a crisis and people sort of saying this is identity, this is ethnicity, but we also at the same time, through scholarship, through science doing deep historical work, we're finding new things about ourselves every single day. And and I think, speaking of access, we want people to have that access because uh, that's what brings us together more deeply and more truthfully. And, and so we're not taking away any truths that are being said today, right now, but to have that knowledge actually acknowledges um, our deeper humanity of what connects us.